Look at this beautiful room of people. <laughs> All right, move this up. I'm a little bit tall. Sorry, everybody. All right, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. We're very excited to be here, to have you all here joining us as well. Uh, my name is Tim Quinn. I'm a junior here at Mercyhurst. I do a lot of work with our athletics on social media, as well as our broadcasts and play-by-play. -play. Um, so as you can imagine, a little bit of a hectic morning. Um, but in all the best ways possible. This is absolutely amazing. Um, we appreciate you being here to celebrate a truly historic event, one that not only enhances our athletics program, but brings a whole new vitality to our campus life and creates many new opportunities for the greater Erie community. We have some very important people up here, so to introduce them, we'll go right to left. First, the Vice Chair of the Mercyhurst Board of Trustees, Mr. Scott Kern. Next, the President of Mercyhurst University, Dr. Kathleen Getz. The university's vice president for advancement and external relations, Mr. Sam McCrimmon. The vice president for student life, Dr. Laura Zirkel. Northeast Conference Commissioner, Noreen Morris. And Mercyhurst Athletic Director, Mr. Joe Spano. To share why we are all gathered here today, please help me in welcoming President Getz.
I'm not the shortest person in the room, but I'm vying for that. <laughs> Good morning, and thank you all for being here. Today marks a significant milestone in the history of Mercyhurst University. I am so pleased to announce a decision that will shape the future of our institution. After careful consideration, the university has decided to transition its athletic program from Division II to Division I. We are delighted to accept an invitation to join the Northeast Conference, home to schools like Fairleigh Dickinson University, Stonehill College, and St. Francis University. Our new affiliation will begin in the fall of 2024, meaning our teams will compete in Division I this coming academic year. <laughs> Historically, this action rises to the level of our transformative decision in 1969 to transition from an all-women's school to a co-ed institution, and again in 2012 when we achieved university status. This decision arrives at the cusp of our centennial celebration, which we will celebrate in 2026-27, and it is a tribute to our Carpe Diem legacy and our time-honored tradition of seizing the day. <laughs> Further, this move is a testament to the intrepid nature of our beloved Sisters of Mercy, <laughs> whose spirit <laughs> we aspire to model their spirit and character day in and day out. Mercy for Mercyhurst first considered the possibility of making this transition in 2014. Since then, we have taken many steps to prepare for this momentous day. Most recently, we engaged in months of assessment on whether to make the move and consulted with the leadership of other colleges that have moved from, D1 to, from D2 to D1 in recent years. We considered an array of perspectives in the ever-changing field of higher education, including effects on enrollment, retention, student life, university finances, alumni engagement, and local economic development, as well as cons consonants with our Mercy mission. And just days ago, the Board of Trustees voted unanimously to proceed. This transition elevates the profile and prestige of Mercyhurst University and opens doors to new opportunities for recruitment, competition, and collaboration with universities and athletic programs in new and larger markets, including New York, Boston, and Chicago. Moving to Division I reaffirms our pledge to provide our student athletes with the resources, support, and platform they need to excel athletically and academically. As an institution whose student athletes consistently average a GPA of 3.0 or higher, our commitment to academic excellence remains steadfast. Mercyhurst's values and vision are strategically aligned with those of the NEC, as together we strive to develop well-rounded, successful student athletes who succeed and achieve in the classroom compete at the highest level of collegiate athletics and strongly value the positive effects they can have on their communities during and after college. Further, we believe that our beloved Mercyhurst Uni University community, our alumni and devoted fans will benefit from a new era of spirited competition and connectedness, forging an enduring legacy for future generations of Lakers. And I'm looking at the youngest person in the audience. <laughs> this shift to Division I will have a positive effect on our campus culture. With increased visibility and more competitive athletic programs, students often become more passionate about supporting their teams, leading to a more vibrant student life. Mercyhurst membership in the NEC will also have economic benefits for our greater Erie community. The nature of conference play means an increased length of stay for visiting teams and their fans, bringing more visitors to our region. We are optimistic that the economic impact of this decision will be fruitful for Erie business and the community. As we look ahead to the challenges 
and opportunities that lie before us, I'm confident that together, as a united community, we will continue to uphold the values of integrity, excellence, and inclusivity that define our university. In closing, I want to acknowledge and thank the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference and Commissioner Steve Murray for the strong support they have provided to Mercyhurst over the past 15 plus years. I extend my deepest personal gratitude to our dedicated coaches, to our administrators, staff, faculty, students, alumni, board of trustees, and other supporters whose unwavering passion and commitment have made this transition possible. Your hard work and perseverance and your fidelity to the mission of Mercyhurst University have laid the foundation for this historic moment. And to Northeast Conference Commissioner Nori Morris and her entire team, thank you very much for welcoming, uh, welcoming us so graciously. We look forward to this new opportunity as we boldly move beyond the gates and into a new era for Mercyhurst's future. Carpe diem, carpe d1, and go Lakers. <laughs>Thank you very much, President Getz. We now have a celebratory video for this transition crafted by our university marketing team. Please take a look. One. To be one. It is why we compete. It is why we value dedication, discipline, and relentless hard work. It is refusing to settle for anything less than our best. It is what we all Strive for one is the pinnacle, our commitment to excellence, stronger, faster, better than ever. One is embracing the grind and pushing our limits, boldly living up to our motto and seizing the day. One is what it means to be a Laker. Mercyhurst is Division One. representative of the Mercyhurst University Board of Trustees. As Dr. or as President Gatz mentioned, um, last week the board unanimously ratified uh, to move, uh, unanimously ratified the move to Division I. Uh, and I just want to express how uh, enthused and gratified we are to be part of this historic decision. That was actually made last, uh, last Friday morning. By joining the Northeast Conference, we are not only stepping onto a national stage, but we are aligning ourselves with esteemed institutions that could collectively house over 40,000 students and have uh, over a half million alumni across six states. And while the Northeast Conference is home to highly talented athletes, like Mercyhurst, its members maintain a steadfast commitment to academics boasting impressive graduation rates of 91% and a combined uh, GPA of 3.27 for its student athletes. But this decision is not just about athletics and academics, it's about enhancing the entire university experience. It opens the door to wider regional impact, connectivity, and a Mercier's presence, providing inspiring changes and opportunities that we are eager for all of our students to experience. And by extension, this should have many positive impacts and ramifications for the Erie region. Everything from more people filling restaurants and hotel beds uh, to showcasing all we have to offer here in Erie 
by way of business, industry, recreation, tourism, and more. And eclipses, not this year, but. <laughs> uh, but in conclusion, joining the Northeast Conference is not just a step forward, but is a step toward a brighter future. So, carpe diem, I just learned a new one, carpe d1, and go Lakers. Thank you very much, Scott. Joe Spano is our newest athletic director, but certainly he's not new to Mercyhurst. After spending 24 seasons at the helm of our highly successful baseball program, and he was one of the earliest proponents in taking the university's athletics program to the Division I level. I am one of the many throughout the years who have had the opportunity to play for Coach Spano, and today I am very honored to be the one to welcome to the podium Mercyhurst Athletic Director, Joe Spano. Good morning. Um, the invitation for Mercyhurst to join the Northeast Conference is a testament of our dedication on the field, on the court, and in the classroom. The hard work has been noticed. And now we step into the national stage. We have the opportunity to shine before a, wi a far wider audience, showcasing not only our athletic skills, but our academic excellence. I wanna thank Commissioner Noreen Morris and her entire staff at the NEC for their guidance through this process. I would also like to thank the NEC presidents for their support and welcoming, welcoming us into their conference. It is truly an honor to, to be associated with such outstanding institutions. In making the move to Division I, I feel we are finally where we belong. We have competed at a very high level for many years, winning our share of accolades in Division II and being guided by some of the best coaches in the business. Coaches whose tenure with us spans decades of dedicated service. We also owe this opportunity to the talent, commitment, and drive of past, present, and future student athletes. Together we will compete at the highest level, upholding the legacy of Mercyhurst University and our founding Sisters of Mercy with pride and distinction. Let us live by our motto, Carpe Diem, and seize this opportunity. I wanna take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to the PSAC Commissioner Steve Murray, the dedicated PSAC, PSAC staff, the esteemed presidents and athletic directors, our 15 plus years at the PSAC has been nothing short of remarkable, filled with unforgettable moments of competition and camaraderie. Finally, let me say that I am incredibly proud of our Mercier's leadership, starting with our President Kathy Getz, Vice President Laura Zirkel, Vice President Sam McCrimmon, Vice President Mike Heller, and our amazing cabinet. Many early morning Zooms and meetings that went late into the evening um, trying to pull this together. And I'm inspired every day by your leadership. Thank you. I am also grateful and thankful to our athletic senior staff for their tremendous dedication and hard work. Stacy Gaudet, Andy Simon Wambach, Austin Alange, Abigail Vittmeyer, Adrian Spracklin, Morgan Beatty, <coughs> Morgan Remedio. Steve Reinhardt, and Sue Sweeney, along with our talented head coaches, assistant coaches, and athletic trainers. Together, we will carve a path of greatness in this new chapter of Mercy Earth Athletics. Thank you. Thank you very much, Joe. You know, one of the first things my parents said to me after I came on my visit back when Joe Spano was Coach Spano of the baseball team, was that's a man you should follow. Um, and it's just with the way he carries himself, presents himself, and works with everybody. Um, and I'm very happy and very honored to follow him uh, and follow everyone into this new step of Mercyhurst history. So thank you very much, Joe.
Next, to dive more into the student and student athlete experience, I'm excited to introduce the president of Mercyhurst Student Government, Mrs. Caitlin Lowe. Thank you everyone for being here today. It has been an honor and a privilege to represent the Mercier student body throughout this year, but particularly throughout this Division I transition process. As President Getz initially stated, this is a historic moment and a wonderful new opportunity for our athletic programs. As both a student and an athlete, I can say the move to Division I and the Northeast Conference mark a remarkable development for our school. I think that we are all excited to see our Lakers competing at the highest level, and what better way to highlight this great institution, a school that our students love dearly, than on a national stage. I also think this is going to put Erie in a whole new light as an athletic destination. I've grown to love the Erie community and all that it offers. It's been an incredible place to attend college, and I do believe that as people watch our Lakers play, especially new fans, they will also understand what a great area Northwestern Pennsylvania is. Additionally, I believe this transition to Division I will allow our athletes to be an inspiration to the next generation of athletes in our Erie community. Our Lakers will show that anything is possible and that the goal of playing sports at the highest level is attainable with dedication and hard work. If I have any concerns or sadness about this change, it is that as a senior, I will not be able to experience the growth of Mercyhurst Athletics as a student and as a women's soccer athlete. Although I would love to pioneer this new beginning, I will be watching and cheering on not only my girls, but all of the Mercyhurst Athletic teams as they compete for championships in the Northeast Conference. Thank you again for being here. Carpe diem, carpe d1, and as always, go Lakers. Thank you very much, Caitlin. I can, uh, I can speak from the student and the student athlete experience to tell you that you have done a wonderful job this year and our next Mercier student body president, Jay Tonks, is also here today. Um, and we appreciate everything that you guys have done and will do in the future. You guys are very well loved and respected by the Mercier students, the Mercier student athletes as well, so thank you. <laughs> Finally, I know we're all eager to hear from the commissioner of our new Northeast Conference, and we are so happy she is with us today. Please welcome Noreen Morris to the podium. continues. <laughs> Good afternoon. I am incredibly thrilled to be here today uh, in this standing room only. I can feel the energy. I can feel the excitement. Um, this is a great day. Uh, and I would like to thank uh, Tim and Caitlin. Uh, you're tough acts to follow. And as a former student athlete myself, soccer player, uh, I cannot imagine being an athlete a student, and the class president. I don't know when you slept. Um, so thank you, I appreciate it, and good luck to you in your graduate uh, studies. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Mercier Board of Trustees, President Getz, the cabinet members, Athletic Director Joe Spano, his staff, for the incredible leadership and collaboration they've shown throughout this process. And I'd also like to give a special shout out to the Sisters of Mercy who have joined us today. Clearly, your leadership has led them here, and I love to see strong, impressive, and faithful women here supporting us today. So thank you so much. <laughs> On behalf of the NEC Council Presidents, I am extremely excited to welcome the Mercyhurst Lakers to the Northeast Conference and the NEC family. This is truly a special day for all of us. And as has been said previously by every speaker, this is a wonderful way for us to celebrate Carpe Diem, Carpe D1. Uh, 
When considering expansion, the Northeast Conference looks at a wide variety of uh, areas and does an in-depth study on any potential new members. Those uh, components include institutional fit, so institutional mission, vision, values. Is that a good fit for us and our current membership? We look at academic progress, academic achievement. Uh, are you po poised for growth and innovation in those areas? We look at athletics, um, sports sponsorship, we look at your competitive success. We look at how do you support your student athletes from their health and self safety as well as their academic well-being. We look at camp campus culture. Uh, what kind of culture do you have? Is it inclusive? Do you involve your community? These are all things really important to the Northeast Conference. And finally, we look at the leadership of the institution. Is there commitment from the top down to make a move to a new conference, to the Northeast Conference, and in particular now to Division I. Are you positioned for success? And have you, you know, done all of the things that you can to make yourself um, viable in this move? And as our evaluation process unfolded, I can tell you that Mercyhurst definitely checked every box of those five components, and, and then some. The alignment between the NEC and Mercyhurst was uh, exciting and inspiring. Uh, when we met a couple weeks ago, uh, just the conversation that we had, what was important to the NEC, what was important to Mercyhurst in terms of uh, athletic tradition, uh, academic uh, achievement, it all aligned, it was fabulous. But what really rose to the top was the leadership. The leadership of President Getz and her uh, uh, her board of trustees, as well as her cabinet. And I would say that they truly personify the university's strategic goal of delivering ingenuity, energy, and persever perseverance without end. We were sold on Mercyhurst, and the Northeast Conference presidents unanimously approved the invite to, Northeast, to Mercyhurst Com uh, University to join the Northeast Conference. Uh, and when I called President Getz, I do believe that she did a little dance uh, <laughs> when I told her the good news. Uh, so the excitement uh, was there from the get-go, and obviously today it shows the excitement is continuing and building. This is also an exciting time for the Northeast Conference. We've had incredible uh, success in, in the previous years, and, and we continue to grow. Uh, today, with the addition of Mercyhurst, as well as recently Chicago State. Uh, we are excited about our future, and we're also excited to extend the multi-sport associate member partnership that we have with six of our eight MEAC institutions. MEAC is a member of the uh, HB, one of the two HBCU conferences at Division I, and we have a tremendous relationship with them over a number of sports. So we're excited to renew that for another two-year um, contract. As I mentioned earlier, as a conference, we are committed to providing our student athletes with tremendous experience on the playing fields, in the classroom, and in the community. Community engagement is, is really critical to our presidents and, and how the student athletes become part of the fabric of the university. With the NEC, the students, student athletes, they are students first, athletes second, but they are members of your community all of the time. The NEC values this holistic approach to how we uh, approach Division I athletics, and we celebrate that our student athletes are competing at the very highest level of the NCAA and doing so at the highest level academically. Your 3.47 GPA for your student athletes is incredibly um, impressive and uh, we are excited to bring that level of student athlete into the Northeast Conference. Uh, competitively, we've had some really fun outcomes in the last couple of years. Uh, we're still continuing to celebrate FDU men's basketball win over number one Purdue last year, um, and uh, as well as Wagner's first four win over Howard. Um, but basketball, men's basketball is not the only place we've had success. We've had NCAA tournament wins in uh, nine other sports, including women's basketball, men's and women's soccer, softball, baseball, men's and women's lacrosse, field hockey, and bowling. 
And speaking of bowling, congrats to your Mercyhurst bowlers. They have now um, going to their second consecutive NCAA championship. Uh, that'll be happening um, regionals, I think, are this weekend. Um, and they'll be joining two NEC institutions from the bowling side of the house as well. So we'll have a little rivalry uh, even before we get going. Uh, next year, as President Getz said, you all will be part of the Northeast Conference, and we are thrilled to, to extend that rivalry beyond bowling. Uh, we have 18 uh, NEC sponsors, 18 of the 23 sports that Mercyhurst has. And I know based on the incredible successes that those teams have had in the past, and it would take me probably an hour to go over all of the list of the accomplishments those teams have had in terms of conference championships, NCAA tournament appearance, appearances, NCAA championships. It, it's an incredible um, list of accomplishments, but I know that when those teams join the NEC next year, they are going to make noise immediately, uh, and they are going to show everyone that the Lakers uh, are, are ready to play, and, uh, and they're going to I know they'll do really well. Um, so with that said, I would like to thank, again, all of you for coming today. And I'd like to thank President Getz, the cabinet, but most importantly, our student athletes and coaches. Um, we're excited to, to welcome you aboard and cannot wait to get started next fall. So thank you very much. Noreen, I ask that you remain up at the podium for a moment. Uh, and at this time, I'd like to ask President Getz to come up and join Commissioner Morris in the signing uh, to make the official agreement to make us partners. And I'll ask that everybody up here today, please join me up at the podium with your NEC hats for a couple of pictures with the media. I want to thank everybody for being here once more today. Very happy about it. It's a good turnout. You guys are a wonderful crowd of beautiful people, as I mentioned. Uh, I now invite the news and media to do independent interviews with our guests at the panel. Uh, Caitlin Lowe, Joe Spano, President Getz, uh, as well as some of our head coaches are here as well. So football, Ryan Remedio is here. Women's soccer, Rich Wall is here. Women's basketball's head coach, Brooklyn Kohlheim. Men's basketball's Gary Manchell. Men's ice hockey's Rick Gawkin and rowing's Adrian Spracklin, among others, are all here for interviews today. Uh, these interviews can be conducted down the ramp and to the left on the basketball court. But once again, I want to thank everybody for being here, and everybody's been saying it today, so I might as well jump in on it. Carpe diem and carpe d1. Thank you. <laughs> 